for taking care of everything back home. Love you. I miss my babies, Ava and Peyton, and my fiance, Heather. I can't wait to see you. Thanks for being home and keeping my mom sane. I miss you guys, and hopefully I'll be home shortly to see you. And finally, to my daughter, Jessica, and my son, Cody. Daddy misses you and loves you both, and you two better be listening to your mother. theme behind the uh, video and the song itself um, is about two sisters, one away at war, one at home. The correspondence between these two different worlds meet. I think it represents not thinking of it as such a negative thing, but knowing that it's just a matter of time before you're reunited with your loved ones. And that in itself gives people the motivation to do the job they're supposed to do and to, uh, you know, to, to find a way to make sure that they're, you know, uh, they, they do their job and, and come home safely. One of my dreams was to deploy to, and I just chose Afghanistan as the mission I wanted to go on, and so I had a lot of support. I didn't have any uh, backlash from my family or friends about it. They may have been worried, but uh, they were all supportive. You know, some people say, well, how could you leave your daughter? Well, my thing is, well, I'm asked to go because my skills are needed. I don't want later on if my daughter ever comes to you know, when when I'm trying to raise her to have uh, to do the right thing, then later on, you know, one day she finds out that well, her dad was needed and he, and he didn't go right. There's a lot of songs about the army and deaths that happened in the army versus um, celebrating the fact that people do come home. So to get that message out, to get soldiers in the video who are actually holding signs of what that means to them, and get that message to Canada. You know, it's, it's a refreshing approach to, uh, you know, ending, uh, ending a cause and ending a, a service to the country people can be proud of. And to, um, you know, to show that, to tell their loved ones that they're coming home, I think is one of the most powerful things uh, you can do with just a simple thing such as a sign. The, the FOB, uh, the Ford operating base that I was deployed at was really in the middle of nowhere and they had something called welfare trailers and there are little sea cans with satellite phones and then another trailer with the satellite internet um, and there's you know half a dozen computers or phones in there for a few hundred people so you know you go in there you have a few minutes and do what you need to do and and uh, communicate that way. Sometimes you just call every single day even when we were in those battles like there'd be a lull and so we take a little break and I make sure I get a phone call in sometimes it'd be a a mortar round that lands close by and said, oh, don't worry, we're just doing some practicing right now, but I gotta get going, right? Uh, there are repercussions to what they've witnessed, what they've done, and, um, you know, so uh, hopefully for them to come back and uh, be reunited with family, you know, and be uh, taken care of and respected uh, with the respect that they deserve. And we had a lot of things to worry about, the heat, uh, the weather, uh, the bad guys, the elements, um, and then just to get the encouragement, just to get an email or a package just kind of boosted your morale when you, needed, when you needed it. Distance can keep you physically apart, but not emotionally. Emotionally, uh, if that bond is there, it's there, right? And nothing could uh, tear that apart. Ah!